Hi everyone, Anita Fanita here. Hope your weekend is off to a good start. Okay, uh, what I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna open the last San Francisco jar uh, that's for $9.99, and then I'm gonna do uh, the 24. Uh, I, I said it was $29.99, but it's actually 24. I didn't really uh, look at the price because my dad brought it. So it's a $24.99 jar, and uh, this is what it looks like. Yep, I did it again. I took another chance, so. I'm going to give it another try and see what's in here. But first, I'm going to do the $10 jar. And as you know, the ones from San Francisco are $10. So I'm doing this one first. Okay. And I'm wearing that, uh, the, uh, the stretchy uh, that I got on the, on the recent uh, yard sale. And uh, this ring uh, my dad got for me. Okay. So let's go ahead and do that. I do see some goodies already in here. Let's see. Oh, there's something here, like a cord. I hope I don't cut it. And I always use little tiny scissors uh, to cut, cut, cut it open so I don't cut anything. Because they're usually all the way up to the top. Oops, there we go. Almost open. Okay. I'm just going to dump it out. And we'll get it All right. Oh, oh, oh. oh, oh. Something fell on the floor. Thank goodness it was plastic. Okay. <laughs> okay, so I got that. Oh, there's something else inside. I can get that too. Oh, wow, what is this? Oh, my God. <laughs> Guys, look. <laughs> this was in there. Uh, a Mona Lisa. Uh, it looks like a business card holder. So, yeah, <laughs> that's cute. <laughs> that's interesting. It's new. Okay, so let's see what's in here. Uh, a stretchy ring that goes with everything I'm wearing today. Uh, it's, see, it's really nice, good condition. Like everything is really clean, uh, whatever is coming out, out of this jar, the San Francisco ones. Even this one, look how nice and clean it is. And this is just a hard, uh, stretchy uh, ring here. Something in a baggie. Uh, a wooden stretchy. So let's see what else. That's pretty. Look at this, guys. The sparkly, sparkly uh, bangle here. And I'm trying to see if there's any missing stones. I don't see any. And very, very shiny. Very cute. Okay, so this is nice. Okay. Oh, <laughs> an evil eye bracelet. Yeah, and it stretches too. So that's pretty cool. Okay. We have another stretchy in here. And the stay cup for $1.99. And this does seem like jade. It's pretty cold. So, yeah. Not bad. Okay. And we have another bracelet looking thingy here. Oops. Got this mixed up here. What is. Oh, okay. So this is stuck to this. So hang on. Okay, um, this is stuck uh, to this, uh, what looks like a, a handmade bangle. And what it's stuck to is very pretty. It's a really cool, this is this way, okay. Um, it's a really nice uh, glass uh, flowers on here, uh, carved, uh, is it glass? Yeah, it is, or is it shell? No, it's glass, okay. Uh, they're carved flowers and there's some other uh, beads on here. Very pretty, cute, and it looks like one long strand. So, yeah, that's pretty nice. I'll untangle that later. Okay, now we have a very uh, delicate uh, leaf uh, looking uh, necklace here, and no, uh, no markings. Very cute. Okay, we have another stretchy, and we have another bangle looks like brass and it has kind of like uh, enameled uh, I was gonna say quiet because <laughs> I'm thinking in my mind the birds aren't being quiet <laughs> okay so uh, we have enameled white and black uh, little um, cute little um, design on here and they did try to sell it for $4.99 and I don't see any markings and it is hinged so that's pretty cool we have an, another stretchy uh, we have this uh, really nice uh, leather um, 
and it has uh, snaps on here so you can make it into a larger and smaller size and it has kind of like uh, shredded uh, detail here very cute and what do we have here we have a necklace pendant very pretty that's cute although I don't like the chain it's on uh, this these uh, threads and stuff like that I don't like I don't like these but I do like uh, the color of it and it does have all the stones very pretty and no marks my son's in there making noise <laughs> another uh, bangle here also hinged a uh, very pretty design not bad I don't see any marks okay another one this is nice okay this is in gold tone and black uh, enameling uh, they tried to sell it for $3.99 I don't see any marks very pretty okay and we have this thing here um, looks like wool threaded through it and again it says loft so they must have a lot of uh, loft items there and it's very pretty nothing is wrong with it so actually I had it on the wrong side uh, it has pearls and, and some kind of uh, stones uh, in between them on the bottom and it, it is the, the threads are not coming out I'm, I'm pretty sure it's made to look that way so that's very cute we have an earring mm, we have bangles here um, gold tone uh, they're all attached together it looks like yeah four ninety nine and mm, no marks but it's pretty cute it's pretty cute and I, I like it that it's clean and we have something in a baggie it's a little butterfly that's pretty it's a cute little butterfly with uh, stones uh, in the middle um, I don't see any marks on the let me see on the clasp um, no no markings on the clasp either so I don't think this is silver or anything no it did pick it up so yeah it's just a pretty cute little butter butterfly uh, pendant necklace okay so and then we have this this is interesting it's a shell and I'm not sure if these are painted on it looks like they're painted very pretty design on here it's cute and it has the leather looking cord and a button clasp here so that's pretty cool not bad and we have yellow uh, beads here these are vintage beads and it does have the clasp it just needs to be put back together came apart so this and we have a glass uh, stretchy uh, bracelet another earring I don't see the pairs to the earrings so I don't think that they have pairs and we have another uh, see-through looking uh, plastic uh, bangle uh, we have this one here very pretty nice and we have some kind of seed here and looks like moonstone uh, beads on here in green and a barrel clasp so that's pretty cool Oh, we have this here. I think we had the other uh, ones uh, that were similar to this in the other jar. Uh, I'm not sure what colors they were, but we have an orange one here. And this must be an anklet. It's wood and some kind of glass bead. And what else do we have? Oh my God, this is nice. Okay, look. Very pretty. This I like. Okay. Uh, this has a uh, nice glass uh, seed beads and it has the button uh, closure here and they tried to sell it for $6.99 but I think whatever is under here it's, is its original tag. Um, I'm going to see if I can take it off and see what it says. Uh, it doesn't say anything but I don't, I don't, I can't, I don't know. I'm not sure. Okay anyway it's really cute I like how it looks very nice okay and we have some kind of uh, beaded necklace here with a long strand uh, necklace and it says on here made with love 
uh, is the taggy on here. And they tried to sell it for $6.99. And, oh, what's this? I'm not sure what this means. It says CD uh, behind the Made With Love. Okay, I don't know what that means either, but it's pretty cute. And we have these, uh, oh my gosh, okay. Okay, so hold on a second here. Bear with me. Okay, so these were stuck to the necklace. What are these? That's pretty. Okay, they're earrings with these really uh, de detailed um, looking, um, I'm not sure what, it's, what, is on, what is on the inside. It looks like metal, but very cute and with rhinestones. It's nice, not bad. And they tried to sell it for uh, $5.99. Okay. Another shell necklace. And this actually would be cute if, uh, if you put it with this one and paired it. If you put it on top of this because it's similar in color. This would look cute together. And it, this one does have pearls. One, two, three. Three pearls. Okay. Very nice. Uh, these two didn't have the pairs, but it's okay. So this was $10, and I'm on 11 minutes, so I'm going to try to do the Goodwill one real quick. Hopefully it's not all, uh, you know, mismatched and, you know, things that I need to throw away or things that I need to put in the craft pile. I'm hoping it's something nice in here. I did see something with a tag, so let's see. And it said $14.99, so let's see. Come on, Goodwill. Please be a good jar. Don't disappoint again. Okay. So, there we go. All right. Let's see. Okay. Um, I see some bangles here. Okay, this is a really cool bangle. Not bad at all. Because it's gold tone, and it looks like a square, and it's two circles that are in, like, I don't even know how to explain it. Two circles that are weaved together to make it look like a square. So, very cool. And it has stones. So, that's nice. We have another uh, Alex and Ani type of uh, type of little bangle here. It's not Alex and Ani, but it is similar, and it's in gold tone. So this is pretty good too. Not bad. Okay, stretchy. <laughs> okay, and we have an earring here. Very cute, delicate. And let's see. And I do see a 925 mark on here, so it looks to be silver, but you know how we did check uh, the ones prior to this and they were not silver? I'm going to check this one too, but only if I find the other pair. So let's wait and see. Okay, an earring with uh, very pretty uh, stones on here. And yep, it's Mark too. So let's see what it says. It says La Rocco. L A R O C O. Okay, and I don't see the pair, but I'll put it in case I do. Okay, we have a fleur de lis uh, little pin here, a little brooch. Oh, there's a marking on this one. Okay, this one says coral. So we have a coral little fleur de lis uh, uh, little tiny brooch with uh, stones on here a red one and two, three little turquoise colored ones. So not bad. I'm still I'm not disappointed. So let's see. Okay, we have uh, the Victoria's Secret. I have another one like this uh, that's listed in my uh, Poshmark. I'm pretty sure it's exactly the same. Maybe the wings are a little different, but I do have a similar one. So maybe I can add it and make them too. So that's pretty cool. It's in rose gold. Very nice. Okay, so this was in there. Okay, if it is similar to that one, I'll, I'll add them in together. That's interesting here. Oh, it's a charm bracelet. And no markings. But let's see. Oh, it has a little eyeglasses charm. Very pretty. And a shoe. I'm trying to see if I can find any marks on anything. No. And a shoe it had. And a, and a handbag. And a crown. And something that says princess. And another shoe. Another crown. No markings. And another handbag. So it's unmarked. And it does, oh, these are moonstone on here, these hearts. 
Okay, so it has uh, moonstone uh, crystals and hearts and very pretty things on here. So this is really cool. I like this. Okay, I might save this. Okay. So that was a really nice one in there. Okay. What is this? It looks like an eagle and no markings on here. But we will test this and it looks pretty old because it has that kind of clasp. I'm not sure what this clasp is call, called. Uh, please uh, put it in the in the comments if you do know. This clasp is the one that doesn't, you know, open and close. It's just like a, it's just open. So I don't know what it's called. The other day, Cindy was talking about what this clasp is called, but I, I, I can't remember the name of it. Please, Cindy, if you're watching, please, uh, please put in the comments uh, what, what this clasp is. And we're going to test this along with the earring. We have another earring that's a wine glass. That's pretty. Another earring on in here. So that's pretty cool. And another earring. Oh, this one is marked. Okay. Um, okay, it says Givenchy. Whoa, wonderful. Okay, now I'm crossing my fingers. I find a pair of this. Okay. So we have another weird looking earring here. That is pretty weird and very large scale. Uh, I don't see any marks on here, but I'm just going to set it aside in case we find the other one. Okay, see this one I, dis I do see the other pair for. And let's see in here. Nope, no marks on here. Uh, very large uh, earrings, uh, no marks. Okay, so, but we, we do have both of them. Okay, so we did find the pair for this. It's not missing anything, so not bad. And we have a cross earring that looks like copper. We have a little tiny ring here with a little black stone. And I want to see if there's any writing in here. Hmm. I don't see anything. It, re it does resemble silver. I mean, it feels like silver, but I don't see anything, but we will test it. So I'll put this in the test pile. Okay. Uh, we have this necklace here. What does this say? Okay, there's a heart here. It says connection on here and some other charms and then there's something on here that says and the and uh, symbol here what else do we have on here mm. okay so there's no clasp and they're just like little oh there is a clasp here okay so this is how it looks and it looks to be handmade so it's not bad pretty good okay so we have an, another earring here and we have earrings here with the pair okay and it's marked AK so these are ankline uh, little um, faux um, um, pearl earrings okay I haven't had my coffee guys sorry <laughs> and uh, this is how my coffee looks it's a little tiny, tiny little cup as you know, I am Armenian, and this is how our coffee is. It's kind of little, kind of like little espressos. And very strong, very strong. So, yeah, I'm having my coffee so I can wake up. <laughs> okay, so here is the other one, and then we have three of them, it looks like. But I'm not sure if all the stones are there. I'm going to have to take a look at those. Um, I don't see any markings in here, so... But we do have three, and it's very pretty, so not bad. I like it that it has the little square shape to them, and very pretty. So we have three of these. <laughs> this is what was uh, fourteen ninety nine. Okay, and that, and I now I know why they they put it looking this way, so we don't get to see what it is. They're just like little faux pearl earrings that are marked fourteen ninety nine. But yeah, I'll just put it as a gift. Okay, so what is this here? Okay, so we have gemstone uh, necklace here. And let's see if the, the clasp is marked. 
And yes, it is. Okay, the clasp is marked 925, so I'll test the chain and see if this is silver, but the uh, beads are gemstones. Very nice. So this is pretty cool. I did get some nice things in here, and I, I'm still not done. We have a hair beret. I'm not sure how we pronounce these. The barrette? Barrette, I think. It's pretty clean. So no junk has come out of here yet, so let's see. That's cute. Looks like a tie. Okay, so that's one earring. Okay, we have another uh, one of that. Um, uh, what was it called again? Um, Ani, Alex and Ani imitation uh, kind of uh, bracelets here. So two of those. Uh, a stick pin with a kangaroo on it. And it looks kind of like an opal stone on it, but I'm not sure if it's real opal. But it, I'm sure that it's a kangaroo. <laughs> that I'm sure of. <laughs> and, okay, it does open and close. Okay, so this goes aside. Guys, I, look, a leopard bra, uh, uh, watch here. And it says in here, style and company. And not sure if it works because uh, obviously the battery's dead. But it is pretty cool. Not bad. And we have some tangled stuff here. Let me get through. Okay, I got this out. An earring. Okay, this one. Okay. This one is a necklace. And it's not marked, but it's pretty cute. A whole bunch of O's. Not bad. This is really nice actually. Okay, so we have this, but uh, it, it does have uh, wear uh, to where the clasp is. I see some discoloration, so yeah, I'm gonna put this one in the craft pile. And uh huh, and here I see the pair to this earring. Okay, so we have two of these earrings here. Okay, so we have. We found two ear earrings with pairs, and this is on a little card. Little um, animal print inside. Um, looks to be in good condition, so okay. So what is this? Okay, guys, I found something that shouldn't be here, and it's breaking apart. And it says uh, chic buds. I'm um, not sure what this is. Is it some, some kind of speaker, maybe? I don't know what it's doing here and it's uh, falling apart. So yeah, I'm going to put this in the in the toss pile. Oh guys, I found the other pair. Okay. So this one did have a pair over here. And it is uh it, it was mar it did have a maker, so we're going to have to look it up and see what these are. These are really pretty actually. Okay. Um so okay, we have a tangle here. Oh, it's not tangled. Okay. Uh we have uh here some kind of name on here. It says I'm not sure what it says. Okay. But this is going to go in the craft pile. Okay. Oh, that's pretty. Um, oh, marked. Okay. Um, okay, it is marked 925. And the chain also is marked. So, yeah. We found an, a silver, another silver piece in here. But, we're, of course, we're going to check these things. And it has a purple stone inside. And I'm not sure why it's kind of like a little bit dented and dented over here. But I think that's how it's supposed to look. So, yeah. A little pendant and chain. So, but we will test these. Okay. And we have a little child's uh, bracelet here. It says strength. It's so small. And it is marked too. Hmm. Little works project. Project. Uh, not sure what that is, but it says strength on it with the little uh, beads. So I'll look to see what that is. And we have some tangled stuff here. So hang on a second. Okay, I was able. To, okay, so I was able to take this one apart, but. Let's see what it is. It's a long uh, necklace here. And there doesn't seem to be anything wrong with it. Um, 
Um, it has some rhinestones, some uh, gemstones. These are gemstones. Oh my god, they're cool. Wow. Okay, so it has gemstones and rhinestones and a chain uh, necklace here. So this is pretty cool. Okay, so I'm going to set this aside in my key pile. Guys, I have not put anything in the... I just only put a couple of things in, uh, in the craft pile. What's that? It's some kind of glass that's etched. It's a brooch, and it is one of those brooches again that slide on and off here. The glass is pretty loose on it, but it does have prongs, so I'm sure it can be adjusted. So uh, I'm not sure. I'm going to have to check and see what this is. We'll check it. Uh, it might be silver. It might be brass. I'm not sure. So let's put that in the check pile. This came out of there. It's just only a pendant without the necklace. It has, uh, looks like rhinestones and a huge stone in the back. and. It's a very pretty piece. It's just missing the, the necklace. One sharp, a little sharp uh, stone in the back. <laughs> it's cute. Not bad. Okay. So far, so good. Okay. okay. So we have some things that we need to undo here. Give me a second here. Okay. And we have a little flower here. And also marked. Okay, let's see. 925. Okay, so great. So another silver piece. So this is really good. Okay, so how many did we get so far? So one, two, and with the chains. But I'm I'm still not holding my I'm holding my breath because I want to check these because we know what happened the last time. So I'm gonna put them aside and we're gonna check them. And we have uh bracelet here with the arrow it's just a regular chain I don't see any markings but I will try the magnet it's not picking it up but this doesn't look like any precious metals at all okay so yeah I'm gonna put that aside and we have some uh, enameled um, polka dot um, it looks black in the video I'm not sure if you can see it is it does it look black it's navy blue and white and it's just like a hoop earring not bad so far so good and a plastic bangle blue and white some dirt here but i can always clean that okay guys what is this <laughs> okay what well, look at this this is so weird okay it's a watch and then it's uh it looks like it's some kind of choker and it has these in the back how comfortable is that and let's see if uh, the watch is marked um it just says quartz on the bottom and that's about it oh my god and one of the numbers just fell off the number two fell off guys the number two just fell off and bags mm. Not bad condition. It's okay. This is okay condition. Okay. We have a little uh, football here with the, an N, N on here. I don't see any marks. And where'd my magnet go? My magnet picked it, picked up the hanger part. I'm trying to see if it's going to pick up the ball. No. So we'll check and see what this is. I don't know what it is. And we have bangle, 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 and one tangled in here. Okay. And another one. And another bangle here with rhinestones at, at the ends throughout. This is really nice. This one is not bad. I've actually seen these uh, kinds of bangles at Pier 1. And they go for about ten, I think ten dollars. So if it is from there, uh, that's what the price is. So this is pretty cute. Okay. So these are all bangles. So yeah, they're. Yeah, oh my God. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so okay, we get it. We get it. Okay. They're metal. They're picking up, and they're all the same. So and they have a really cool uh, design on them. So there's 
one, two, three, four, five of these. And see what else? And we have a stretchy here. We have a little tie clip here, not marked. Okay. We have an earring, another earring, an earring on a little um, paper here with little hearts and little stones. Nice. Okay. Oh, guys, look at this one. This is cool. This is really cool. A little Mickey Mouse uh, earring um, thingy here, and it has little Mickey Mouse studs on it and pastel colors. Really cute, and it has all the backings, and it was $9.95, and it looks like it was from actually from Disney Parks, so that's pretty cute. I might save that for my daughter. Okay, we'll see if she likes it. And another earring here on a little card. Um, says to love and cherish on here not sure what metal this is but we'll check it another one on a card which is weird they they never use they, they probably tr try to sell these because they they are not um when it comes to putting earrings on on cards they just throw them in there they usually don't put them on cards so this is this is new my birds my birds really loud <laughs> so <laughs> Let me talk. <laughs> so these are pretty cool. They look like vintage earrings with rhinestones around them. Very cool. Okay, what else do we have here? A cross. It's a, let's see what it says. Huh, I can't read. Church. No. Is it church? Can't, oh my god, I cannot read it. Uh it's a it's it's a different language writing. But it is plastic, so I'm going to just put it aside. Uh, we have two more of these bangles here. So we have, uh, how many did we have? One, two, three, four, five, six. We have seven of them now. And uh, no markings, of course. And they were being picked up. and But they're very cute. I like the design on them. Nice. Okay. We have another one here, guys, with the price. Uh, it says apartment nine, and these are very pretty uh, hoops here. I'm actually very surprised at this jar today. Coles uh, for fourteen dollars. It says on here, not bad. I am very surprised at the, what's coming out of this jar today, guys. And there's a few more things in there, so let's see. Okay, there's some things that are tangled here that I, you know, I need to get through. Just give me a second. Let me put the video on hold so I can untangle these give me one second okay guys i'm back uh so i untangled everything and i was surprised i found some really nice things okay so i uh found this um uh, uh bangle with uh faux uh pearls on here and these cufflinks with little green stones inside of them and um, let's see if these are marked okay um, I don't see markings. No, they are not marked, but they're pretty cool. So let's see what else I found. Uh, I found another one of that uh, Alex and Ani bracelet here, but it's, these are not Alex and Ani. So there's three of these uh, that I found in here. And I found a Cookie Lee uh, a little bracelet here, a stretchy. And I didn't know Cookie Lee made religious things. So on here, <laughs> I had no idea. So she has on here, uh, it says love and Jesus, and there's crosses on here. So I had no idea that she made uh, these kinds of items. And it does have the tag on here. So this was in there. A little hair piece here with uh, rhinestones. I was shocked that I found nice things today. Okay. So we had these coin earrings were in here with gold pairs. And I did find the other pair to the Da Vinci uh, earring, but uh, the only issue here is... Uh, it was, it, it's missing a stone. Where, where, where'd the stone go? Hold on. I saw that one of the stones was missing. So, hmm, where'd it go? Maybe this one here? Yeah. Yeah, this one here. 
uh, one of the stones is missing in here so I don't know uh, I don't I don't do stones I don't fix uh, jewelry so I have no idea if anyone uh, has this kind of stone on here and does fix earrings and does uh, put stones in and is interested in this one I will give it to you so let me know and another earring here oh this one did have the pair okay here so yeah they did have pairs most of them and uh, I did find yes here it is okay so I did find the pair to the, the one that was marked 925 so we do have it here these are gonna be tested and I found this cross in here uh, it has a red uh, stone inside looks like a garnet and it is marked and it does have kind of like a designer stamp on it too but you know we don't trust these so we're gonna test them we're gonna test these and this was on here a gemstone on a string this was pretty funny look <laughs> I've never seen it on, on kind of like a pin like this these are kind of like those Russian dolls you know the ones that you know go into go into each other in the little boxes very cute so this was in there <laughs> I thought that was cute and this is for eyeglasses it's a little heart and I did find some other silver earrings here look little uh, the purple stones very cute amethyst on here and this was also silver uh, cute little butterfly with multiple color uh, wings and another card item <laughs> I don't know I don't I'm shocked that they actually uh, separated these and put them on a little cardy so yeah this is enameled and it's not marked so yeah this was here uh, these are little snowflakes but they're very very worn and dirty and I have no idea if they'll get clean but I will try to wash them and these are also vintage earrings that were in here um, what else was in here oh this is this was in here but this is very worn and very you know not good dirty and you know tarnishing so I'm gonna put this in the craft pile and we had these earrings in here too these are pretty cool too so this was in there and this oh yeah this had a pair okay so this does have a pair so these were in here too and these were in there these are just regular like little stones but they did have the pair and this heart was in here and let's see if this is marked nope this is not marked so this is just a regular uh, glass heart and these dream catcher earrings were in here uh, not marked but you know I, I will test them and make sure that they're not precious metals uh, there was a little tiny cross inside that I will test also and this was in here and um, I don't see any markings let me, let me make sure hang on oh yeah there is a marking there's this little tiny tiny marking right in, in the corner here that says sterling and it and it does have that same kind of like clasp here and it has some kind of like I don't know what stone this is but it is like firing up it does look like that opal stone only it's in orange or brown I'm, not sure. I'm gonna bring it closer so you can look at it look at look at look look look, look. you see it look at how it's changing colors and turning brown and then firing up and it's really old so I have no idea what that stone is if you know please let me know Sandy if you're watching you know all about stones let me know what this is look at how cool it is okay so yeah that's a keeper and then I found these really cool earrings also in here so and a few bangles and then this uh, whatever this thing here is it's uh, it's kind of like a, um, a, a bracelet with uh, little snaps and um, this was on here so it's from a company called da Vinci uh, lead nickel safe for adults only so I'm not sure who that is and uh, it, it is it smells like leather so it is leather and this was in there uh, kind of like a brass uh, cuff here with little tight no it's not tiger's eye it's a it's a moonstone that looks like tiger's eye it's brown moonstone 
Oh my god, it could be maybe it's cat's eye. I don't know. I'm not that good with uh with uh, stones. I'm gonna have to look it up. But it does also have that um iridescent uh moonstone kind of look to it. But it is it is a stone. And I found this Chico's um in here too. So yeah, it is marked Chico's in the back and it is pretty worn. The the leather it, it, it let's just say it's used. Okay. <laughs> And these were in a little baggie. So let's see what these are. Um, and I'm really happy right now, excited actually, that I found lots of good stuff in here. Okay, so yeah, no marks. No marks on here. And it's just like little square um, snap earrings. Clip earrings, sorry. And these were in here too little skull not little uh these were these are skulls they're plastic uh, i think at one point they were necklaces but look how they are they're cut over here so you can't really use it as a necklace anymore so yeah yep yep you can't use it as a necklace so yeah this one also is ruined here so maybe i can re-thread them or i'm not i'm not even sure what to do with these what i'm gonna do right now is put the put the camera on, on um on stop and uh, I'm gonna test the stuff and see if they were silver give me a second okay guys I'm back so we're gonna do a little testing here to see if these items are silver or not as you know last time uh, most of the items were not silver so we're gonna go ahead and, and test them right now first I want to test this because it has no markings and it does have an eagle and I'm crossing my fingers and hoping that this is silver so let's see as you know you do scrape on this little um, square here a little tile and get a nice uh, little scratch here not too much and not in an area where it'll destroy the piece so we're just gonna put a drop here and as you know if it's silver it'll turn like a blood red and if it's not it'll just um, disappear so let's see this one was not a marked piece so and no it is not as you can see it's disappearing <laughs> So this is not silver. Okay. So uh, we're going to do this one here. This uh, looking piece here with the glass inside. So we're going to do a different area. And I'm going to do here. So let's see. Okay. So that was an etched glass. Uh, kind of like. It's not even etched. It's carved. It's carved glass and uh, it is pronged on and it looks very old and the clasp was very old so yeah this also was not so it's just starting to disappear okay so we're gonna do this one here the flower that's mark 925 okay let's see i hope you can see what i'm doing here okay and I'm going to get another piece. You, uh, of course, you need to wear gloves when you do this. I, I, I'm not wearing gloves, and I should be. But please wear gloves when you do this. Oh, my God. Guys, look. Another fake item. So this is not silver. You can clearly see it. It's, it, it's, it's, uh, it's disappearing. So Goodwill has a, uh, is, is uh, starting to put stuff that are not silver. So I don't know what's happening, though. I don't know why this is happening, but I've never had this problem before. So another here item here. This is the butterfly with the multiple wing color wings. Okay, this one's having a hard time even scratching on here. So I'm having my doubts already. So let's see. Let the butterfly be silver. My daughter likes butterflies. At least I can give it to her. Okay, so this one is silver. Okay, as you can see, it has kind of like a blood stain right there. So the butterfly is silver. Okay. And let's do these um, dream catchers next. And these were not marked. I'm just guessing that they might be, so I'm testing them anyway. Okay, so let's see. Okay, I got a nice, uh, good scratch there. So, let's see. Okay. And, and no, they were not. Okay. 
So this was not, but the chain might be. You know how you, you can test the chain? You just roll it around your finger a few times like this and just scratch it like this. See? This is how I do it. And we're going to test the chain. Okay. Because, you know, if it does have a chain, you because the chain might might be silver and the pendant might not, you might you should t uh, test both items. And this, the chain is silver. So, see, I did get the little red spots because I took little chunks out of it. It is red spotted. So, the chain is silver. The pendant is not. Okay. So, uh, what were we doing next? Okay, so, and I think there were some earrings that I was going to do, right? Um, where did they go? Where did you go? Oh, here it is. Okay. So here is the earrings. Okay, wrong side. Let me do over here. Oh, God, it's not even scratching. So, oh, boy. I'm having my doubts already. Okay, so it did scratch. So let's see. And you just only need like a drop. I don't know why I did more, but you, all you need really is a drop. And mm, 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 mm. nope, it disappeared. So these were fake silver. Okay, so uh, guys, if you do buy jars from Goodwill, make sure you do test everything that you get because uh, apparently, look what's happening here. Look at this. This is uh, this isn't even scratching, so I'm not even gonna bother with that one. Uh, let's just do this final one here, the one with the amethyst inside. So let's see. Oh, and then there was a ring. Okay, let's do the ring too. Oh my god, I cannot believe all this fake silver. Oh god, there's so many out there. You really need to be careful, especially if you're a reseller. You need to be careful about what you're selling. See, this one is silver. I see the little red mark on there. So this is silver. So, and the chain I will do a little bit later because I, I, I'm assuming that it's silver. But I will I will test it, of course. And let's do the ring. The ring was not marked, but I'm guessing that it's silver because it's very well made. So we're going to check. Okay. I haven't gotten anything gold yet or else I would test gold for you guys too. And no, it's not. Okay. So remember this cute little opal fiery thing here? We're going to test this too. It is marked. But you never know. So let's just go ahead and test it. Why not? It's best to test everything because you don't want to sell something to somebody and that, that somebody, uh, you know, uh, come come back and call you or tell or... or, or um, in any way to let you know that the item you sold them was not silver because that's quite embarrassing so it's better just please test everything if you're especially if you're a seller test everything if you're not and it's for you it's okay it's silver it's gold in there it's a uh, red it came out red so this was silver what did i just test yeah okay the opal <laughs> okay and okay so i tested i think everything here yes okay so I want to show you something. I did look up a few of the items. Uh, well, not a few, just two of them. And this is my new phone cover. <laughs> a little pineapple. So, okay, guys. Um, let me just put down the, the lighting on here so you can see. Okay, the Givenchy earrings. Uh, there, I did not find the, the same one. But uh, the items on here are, let's see. Uh, for $27, they're selling like just little regular earrings. So these are pricey. If somebody can fix them, please let me know. And then we and then I found these same exact earrings in a different color, uh, this one over here. And they, they are selling for $24.99, which is exactly the price uh, of, the, uh, of the jar. So uh, this time, good, Goodwill uh, jar was really good. I'm not disappointed. I'm very happy with all the items that I did get. I'm just a little disappointed because all the items that I thought were silver were not. But uh, I did still do good. And I hope you enjoyed watching this video as much as I love making it. And 
being here with you all. Thank you very much for watching. This is Anita Fanita. Don't forget to thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching.